Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Baltimore Orioles. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch, and today's starting pitcher, Cade Povich. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with the runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. to start the inning. That exception. The second base. Here's Andres Jimenez. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left-hand hitter waits. Wouldn't Doing chase out. that time. Here comes a pitch. Just oh, missed. Splits the plate, three and one. The pitch. Great with the swing there. Four count, three and two. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. High no, bounce no, takes no, it over no, the no. fence. That's an automatic double. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break. But look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position. So they'd love another base hit right here. Here's Jose Ramirez. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Ball two. Outside low, and that's ball two. And that one fouled off. Pitch. Down the ball here, rolls foul. And here it comes. Still two and two after the foul ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One runs in. The second run scores. The tag. See? And if you're the pitcher, you can't be frustrated. You know this is going to be the toughest batter that you face tonight, and you're going to have to face him a couple of times. So you just tip your cap and hope that you can get the next guy. Scoring position, no outs. 
And now it's Josh Naylor. And that one hammered. That ball's carrying. Gone! That's his third home run of the series. It's 4 nothing. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. David Fry, the next to hit, takes ball one. Well, it's not the inning he was planning on to begin this start, but you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team some length and put up some zeros. Next pitch misses, ball two. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound, and uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. And the pitch. Good That's eye in that three. spot. Line drive, base hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And that one sliced foul. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Stays alive. The pitch. And it drops in. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Next up, it's the first year shortstop. That's in there. Strike one. And he deals. Just missed. Next one misses two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one for strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Breaking ball inside. Ball one. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning. And this is where you want to just max out. Get as much as you can. Give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. The one up. One and one. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Three. No, but he beats six. it. Good hustle. And the inning continues. Bo Naylor at the plate now. 
He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full oh. speed. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right through there for a strike. Four runs already in the frame, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Not close with that one, and a count two and one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Line drive, base hit. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's 5 nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Brandon Hyde out of the dugout now, and he's ready to make a move to the bullpen. Cade Povich won't go any further, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, number 49. He's been so good against lefties. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. And that's through there for a strike. Now the 01. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike oh, two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the One mound. Ball. See Two if he strength. continues to climb the ladder. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around at five score. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Guardians five and the Orioles nothing. Back now at Oriole Park. And towing the slab, Tanner Bybee. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy strikeout for nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. Bottom of the first, and into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. The wind and the pitch. And that one missing low. And the righty deals. Pitch is in there. And the count even one and one. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Hey. And now one two. and two. One ball, two strikes. Righty delivers. That misses the zone, and the count is two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and now one away. Adley Rutschman up now. He didn't just play baseball while at Oregon State singing. Adley was also on the football team. Yeah, that's right. Adley was a place kicker his freshman year, averaged 60 yards per kick. And we've all seen the highlight of him tackling Christian McCaffrey. Not an easy feat. 20 touchbacks, too. Not bad. On the inside corner for a strike.
One, two now. In the air, left side. Two away. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. An offense that knows how to mash, Chris. Lots of power throughout the lineup. They're leading the league in homers right now. Yeah, and I think when you're facing a team like this, pitchers coming in, they see the stats. They end up trying to nibble, trying to work on the edges, trying to expand the zone. And so I think the key, if these hitters can stay within themselves, obviously they have the ability to hit the ball a long way and score runs quickly. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. It affects the game in so many ways, right? Your ability to come back is usually tied to power. If you can deliver a huge hit with one. Ah, well, he settles under it in left, and that will end the inning. Back here in Baltimore, top of the second, stepping in, Andres Jimenez. And a pitch. That's ball for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. Next pitch is downstairs. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. This one in the air. Makes the catch for the out. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report, or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Ramirez, the next to hit, takes outside. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The line of the pitch. And it's fouled away. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. The two outs, base is empty. So in now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. He's already homered here in this one. And Naylor swings through that one. 0 oh 1. Two outs, space is empty. The O2. Bows it back with two strikes. So they make short work of them there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Guardians five and the Orioles nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Biden back to work. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Makes the catch. One away. Batting fifth. The, right the right field. field. Anthony. Anthony Santander at the play. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Line drive. Base hit. 
So they get a man aboard with a one out single. First pitch swing in went up there with a plan to be aggressive. No nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Colton nope. Kowser in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Hey. And now it's even up. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. The one two. Hit on the ground might be two. He flips it to second in time. And it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Guardians five and the Orioles nothing. New inning getting started. Stepping up for the Guardians, David Fry. David. Fry measures six feet two inches hitting fifth in today's lineup and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018 that's in there that's strike one top of the zone for a called strike all right now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point he's gonna have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That one, one not close. <laughs> now one and two. Softly hit to third. And he grabs it foul. Right-hander kicks deals. And another ball. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that one in the air center field. Mullins makes the catch. One up, one down. That is it. Gabriel Arias now at the plate, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. And a good eye there. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Baker is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. The 1 0. Just missed. Popped up. Mateo has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter will be the shortstop. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Swing and a miss. Going to one. All one's the count. On the ground to short. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. So, man aboard, Tyler Freeman digs in for the Guardians. That hey. one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Two outs. Outside corner for a strike. 
And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make no, contact. Checks over to first, back safely. The pitch. Whoa. And that's in the dirt. And it's one, one and two. Ball, two well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate disciplined to lay off of that pitch. To the right side. Slings Got the it. first, third out. One left for the Guardians as they are unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Set for the bottom Leading of the third. Off. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The right-hander back to work. In there at the knees. 0-1. Hard hit, left side. Zips it to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. That again. The third baseman, Ramon. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. That pitch clips the outside corner. It's 0-1. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Ouch. Hey. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. This one in the air right field. Arias moving under this one. He makes the grab. Out number two. The batter number two. Shortstop. Gunner. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Gunner Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Struck out swinging, leading off the bottom of the first. That's outside, and that's ball one. Urias leads off first with two down to the inning. Off the plate inside, and a count two and one. Two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Adley Rutschman next to bat for Baltimore. Righty to the plate. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One left for the Orioles. It's 5 nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now the catcher oh. comes up to him. Bo oh, Naylor. The why to kick the pitch. Up nope. and that's in. And that's ball one. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a an encouraging smile or a pat on the back regardless of how things were going it made it a lot Whoa, easier right to come to the ballpark whether you were doing well or you were struggling and then the way that they treated your family I mean this is a great place to play and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball Inside, that one misses three and one now and you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip 
On a line out towards center. And there's one down. So the batting order turns over. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. And that one fouled off. That's inside. And now it's even one and one. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Second base. Andre. Two outs. Base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Andres Jimenez, one for two. And first offering is fouled off. Ball Misses one. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. And that's in. off the inside edge. And yeah, that's ball two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. This ball's chopped to the ground. Safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. Ooh, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, the speedster gets the infield single, and... Now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Drove in two runs on a double back in the first. He's one, one for two. Not even close there. And that is ball one. Belt and fires. Rudder takes off. That's it for a strike. Throw to second. Ow! And that'll end the inning. Well, trying to get into scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Bottom of the fourth. Here's Adley Rutschman. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. There's a strike. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. This one popped up. Jimenez makes the grab, and there's one down. The batter, number six. Designated hitter. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. He's 0 for 1. Mountcastle. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one is going to go. His 12th of the season, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 5-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. After a second, he brought it back out there, too. He gave it a great effort, but, you know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. O'Hearn, that a good one down, takes a strike. On the outside corner, 
And that's strike two. And that's too high. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Wouldn't chase that time. Struck him out looking. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's now got a hole in right the ball is going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that oh, edge oh, and knocks man. down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Santander batting for the second time, oh, and, and that's strike one. It keeps it going. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Now a chance for Colton Kowser. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 1-0. One 1-0 and oh. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Gets Aye. him to chase after that one. I got one ball, one strike. Got him swinging. The Orioles get one back on the solo blast. It's now a 5-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Jose Ramirez. And a pitch. That clips the zone. Strike one. You know, these Guardians putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me Aye. like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Outside. Oh, Pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. Runner on the go. Ball misses. Throw to second, he's safe. Well, I'm sure that still will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. That one out. misses. That's five straight. Can't Both find three. it here. That's six straight balls. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Yeah, there's ball oh, four. Boog, do you think Perfect. you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Fouled off. He was late. Right handed reliever. And a foul ball. The Guardians trying to break this one open. And we're at the top of the fifth. And one and two. And the right hander deals. On the ground to first. Could be two. O'Hearn to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. 
For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. So up next, Gabriel Arias. He popped out his first time. And it's in there. And that is strike one. Ramirez at third with two away. Next oh, offering upstairs. Here comes a pitch. Line drive. Base hit and a run in to score. Well done. Drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Coming on for the Orioles, Ryan Baker. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the shortstop. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Can't hit her weights. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs. One the shortstop ball. takes Two a three. ball. Close, but call the ball. And it's two and two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two-two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Comes a two-two. That's the third, and it's off the bag. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That's got to be an error. Now the Tyler Freeman digs in for the Guardians. There's a strike. pitch that's to third rolls across the diamond that ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand but they pick up one run on the RBI single and this is now a 6-1 ball game you're watching Major League Baseball on the show back here in Baltimore Leading bottom off. of the Baltimore. inning and into the box for Baltimore no, Cedric Mullins Cedric. Bybee back to work. Hit weakly on the ground. And it goes just foul. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. This one in the air center field. Under it. He's got it. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Third baseman, Ramon. Ramon Urias will hit next. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate.
right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. Fastball for a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. And the 2 On the ground, out to short. Tosses to first. Got him. The batter, number three, second baseman, Jorge Mateo. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. Flied to right his first time. Just oh, missed. And a strike in there. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. In the air, right field. Arias on his way in. Makes a nice running catch. And that ends the inning. set for the top of the six. So in now for Cleveland, Bo Naylor. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Baker measures six feet, six inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, and he works in a changeup. That one in there across the letters. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the pitch. And oh. ball one. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And they'll do it again. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing of this. Pulled the string on the changeup. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. and Just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Right side settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. Two down. Up next for Cleveland. The second Two out, space is empty. Andres. And up next for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. Inside just missed. That's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. And oh. another ball. Flips the corner. Two balls, two strikes. In the air to left center. Kowser pulls it in on the run. Nothing doing here this half. Top of the order two up in the home half of the six. It's the Guardians six and the Orioles one. And welcome back to the leading ball game. John Chompy with Chris Singleton in the booth That's and sure. leading off the bottom of the six, Gunnar Henderson. Henderson. pitch and that clips the inside corner missed with a changeup and the count is one and one the wind of the pitch
Lifted in the air right center field. Freeman sizing this one up. Brings it in. And there's one away. Up next is the Orioles. The now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Right through there for a strike. We only say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. The Guardians leading by five here in the bottom of the six. There's the swing and a miss. One and two. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the start. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Next is the designated hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. He's already homered in this game. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two down, nobody on. That's outside. And it's two and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Evidently not too impressed with that call, and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner, so he's making his case. You've got to be careful. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. The lead remains five. It's six one. Dylan Tate gets the ball now. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft now contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. And now the DH, Jose Ramirez. And he deals. That's in for a strike. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Keegan Aiken is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. The 0 1. Nope. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Three. And down on strikes. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Oh, the big power guy right there and generating so yeah. much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And a foul ball. Here comes the 01. They say you win. Oh, two is the count. Base is empty one away here at the top half of inning number seven. Foul ball still low and two. The wind and the pitch. One Way ball. inside Two gets strikes. out of the way. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Rutschman on to first, oh. and it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one, getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter, and I'm so glad I'm retired. David Fry digs in for the Guardians. That nope, misses the zone. Know. Ball one.
Two outs. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Sizes this one up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And we're back. Leading on Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. The first base. Ryan O'Hearn. Bybee back to work. And nope. that's outside. outside. Ball one. Righty deals. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. One down. Now batting. Right fielder. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. And that's outside. One and oh. And another ball. No strike. Wouldn't ball chase three. that time. Three and oh. Fastball for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and okay. showing excellent control and command, not no walking left. opposing batters. Okay. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming ball. right after these guys. Kowser stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Pitch misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong, and their timing's off. Two-two now. Okay. And there's a the ball. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Freeman brings it in for the third out. Now it's the right fielder, Gabriel Arias. And a pitch. Off the mark there. And that is ball one. Ripped, but it curls foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. The oh, next pitch misses, man. and it's two and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Goes hey. down looking. Number 10. Here's the shortstop at the play. Daniel Schneeman. Hey. And there's a strike. And that's, that's downstairs and outside. One and one. He grounds one to the right side. Mateo to first. Oh. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth.
Two outs, space is empty. Tyler Freeman digs in for the Guardians. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. The 0-2. One ball, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Inside, just missed. It's a good take. On the ground to the left. That and that's foul. just foul. Here's a 2-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Five foul balls in this at bat so far. And these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Nice. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. The Guardians go down in order. They still lead it, though, 6 1. here in Baltimore out of the bottom of the eighth and into the box for Baltimore Cedric Mullins by B still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead he's been excellent really on his game in this one and at this point he wants to finish what he started Dances out of the way of that one. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that Whoa, elbow, right on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. This one in the air. And it's caught for the out. Now batting. The third baseman, Ramon Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias. And that's in there for strike one. Just missed. I got a ball, one strike. Outside low, two and one. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two up, two down. The batter, number three, second baseman, Jorge Mateo now. Mateo. That ball misses one. the zone, and that's ball one. The Guardians leading by five near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Aye. Right through there for a strike. And now it's one and two. Aye. And he chases that one. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Orioles held in check there. They trail it. Six, one. Keegan Aiken will take over here. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here. So we'll see how it works out. Bo Naylor digs in for the Guardians. One for three. Naylor. 
The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Santander in pursuit. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Now, he was all Don't over that it. first pitch fastball, but just barely Whoa. missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Nick Vespi getting loose out there. Cano, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Tapped softly on the ground. Mateo over to first, oh. and he's out. Good late bite on that slider. Got now the hitter out front, Second rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. He meant it. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. That one at the knees for a strike. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one back there. And it's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Jimenez around second, on his way to third. He is safe. It's a triple. Just missed out on the homer. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base hit. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat. And it is probably out of here. Runner at third, two gone. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. There's a strike. On one. Two outs. That Aye. one's in there, and the count is 0 and 2. That's One inside. Ball, two strikes. Base hit and a run in to score. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Josh Naylor, a former first-round pick, and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. That's a strike, and it's 0-1. Left-hand batter waits. Swinging a foul straight back. Now snap throw to first. Ramirez gets back easily. Ball. In the dirt. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. And now the lefty. Foul ball still a one and two count. Ramirez off of first with two away. And that's in the dirt. Misses. And it's three and two. David Fry next to bat for Cleveland. Payoff pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. 
you can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Guardians seven and the Orioles one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Tristan McKenzie. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Digging in, Gunnar Henderson. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyer. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. McKenzie, the tall righty, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Now a screamer into the outfield, and there's one down. The catcher, number 35. He's two outs away. So next to hit for Baltimore, Adley Rutschman. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And there's the strike. Ball oh. one there. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. Gets under it and pops it up. Naylor gets under it. Brings it in, two away down. Now that the designated hitter. Ryan. Orioles down to their final out. Now here's the Orioles DH. Ryan Mountcastle. Swing it a foul straight back. 0-1 now. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. That one drifts inside. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. The Orioles down to their final strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. Well, his team was ready from the first pitch of the ball game. Swinging the bats, scoring runs, just very aggressive. I feel like they set the tone, and that tone created a momentum that took them all the way to the finish line. Nice win today. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomley. Thanks for joining us.